Yo, what's going on you guys? It's Shea Boogie. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft School Building Tips. In this episode, we are going to take a look at a user-suggested um, uh, comment. A Someone who uh, commented in the last episode wanted us to... Ooh, I did not mean to break that. Wanted us to take a look at his house that he created, give uh, any criticisms uh, that I have. And uh, so yeah, let's take a look at it right now. So this is a house I actually enjoy thoroughly. Structural wise, it is very, very well done. I like the pillars in the front, or the big pillar in the front with the two um, uh, asymmetrical uh, compartment house parts <laughs> in the back, or on the sides. Um, so, and I like the big tower. I like how it actually comes up and you can actually sit in it. It just looks really good. The roof looks really good. Or er, Everything just looks fairly well uh, well done in this house, and I really like that. The only things I have problems with is certain aspects of the interior and your choice of color scheme. So let's get right into it, and I will explain my point of view. So if we take a look at this man's color scheme, you see that there are two, or three, not two, three different shades of colors of blocks. We have two very dark ones, two medium, um, medium light to dark ratio, and then very, two very light, dark, uh, light, uh, colors of blocks. And the only issue is with this is that it gives me, or it gives your build what I like to call the look at me, uh, scenario. So what it is, is it's more, um, what, what it, I look at it as is that, if you want somebody to enjoy your build, don't be making like super outrageous, outrageously looking colors. So let's look at, um, let's take a yellow and let's take a, let's see, what's it called? Let me find it real quick. Let's see, is it more towards the bottom? No, it's in building blocks at the bottom. Let's take these two colors. So I talked about this in my last one, but if you make a build with these colors, okay, it all it has that look at me um, that look at me kind of scenario and the only issue and the issue not the only issue but the issue is with that is that um, this isn't in a sexual way but uh, it turns people off from your build and it makes them feel like um, you're trying too hard to make it look um, to make it look good and this has that kind of feel it's that look at me I look how good I look kind of thing and um, it's just not something you really uh, want to do. Uh, my suggestion for you is to knock out the birch. Um, you can keep the quartz. Um, I I actually disagree with that. Do not keep the quartz. I would say, let's see. Uh -huh. I would say just stick with this color scheme. You're going for a Victorian house, which is um, a very awesome build, by the way. I really like how you did it. The only issue is is that the color scheme is all kind of off. I would stick with these four main blocks. Uh, we got two dark ones, two um, lighter uh, than dark, but not super light. And that'll give it um, a dark feel, which I feel like Victorian houses uh, very, they excel at, is that dark feeling. So, uh, once again, my advice for you on the uh, structure is just change up your color scheme a bit. Other than that, I would have to say great job on the house. Very, very structurally, if I can say that word, structurally uh, well designed. So, let's take a look at uh, the interior of the house, and I will give my opinions on that. So right off the bat, when you walk into the house, uh, something is kind of in your way, which is actually kind of a cool thing. I really like how you did this. This is pretty cool with a skull in your uh, your Minecraft uh, skin, which is really cool. Um, I, I like that idea. I like the little uh, chandelier here. Very well designed. Um, and then we have this diner um, type of flooring. And once again, if you're not going for a diner style, uh, this is where I would say, you know, probably should take that out. So like I was saying with the um, color scheme, okay, um, look, what he has in here so this is a like a, a kitchen or not kitchen this is like a dining room area um, what this has is just two main blocks you have your hardened clay your light blue hardened clay and you have your uh, spruce wood logs very good color scheme I believe this is dark oak yes dark oak wood, oak wood stairs goes very well with spruce logs I really like how you did that I believe that is oh these are spruce fences 
no problem with that. I have no problem with this. It kind of uh, is a focal point. I have no problem with these. Uh, the only issue I have with this area um, and back here is your flooring. This flooring has that kind of look at me uh, scenario that we were talking about. And it also, um, uh, this also uh, has that. Now, for interiors, the look at me scenario is very, very... Uh, I don't want to say bad, but it's not the best thing you want to do, um, especially for flooring. And that's because your main focus is should not be on the floor. It should be on what you have in there. So what I would do is I would change all this to um, spruce or dark oak logs. I would probably go spruce just because it's a little lighter and it would contrast this very well. Um, so I'm going to change that real quick and then show you what I am talking about. Okay, so as I was saying, if we change the flooring to spruce logs, um, or planks rather, it, it opens up the area a bit. The, with the uh, crisscrossing logs, it felt very uh, compact. It felt like I couldn't focus on one thing. But with this, we have uh, more of an area to uh, look at. Now, if you want to keep this for the ceiling, go right ahead. These pillars look nice. The ceiling doesn't look that bad. I would suggest changing the ceiling, but the ceiling isn't the main focus, and you're not seeing it as often. Like, if we look just like this, you're seeing, or let's look like this, rather. You're seeing more of the flooring because of all the designs in this. Um, you see more, more of the flooring than the roof. This opens it up, and you could actually, let's take this, and you could actually even keep it around the um, <clears throat> the dining area uh, the dining table if you really wanted to um, it just it does give you kind of a, uh, a main focus to look at let's change it over here bang bang and see it, it just gives it a little bit of focus which isn't that bad um, it doesn't look that bad but I really like the uh, spruce rather than uh, your um, rather than your uh, crisscrossing logs everywhere so um, if you really want to do that, go ahead, um, but this would be my suggestion. Change out the flooring um, for really every room. You can change it up and you can put rugs down. Like here, let's go grab this red rug you have over here. This right here, this is kind of a kitchen area or a plant. This is fine. That uh, makes sense. But even over here, you want to just put a little rug, you know? It, 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 uh, it spruces things up a little bit. Excuse my uh, bad pun, but... Um, just makes everything uh, look a little bit nicer, not so much focusing on the flooring and focusing more on your main focus, which is this. So, um, like, let's let's take a look at this. So right here, we have that flooring, right? Kind of focused on that, but uh, your your main focus here is all the little designs because the logs have kind of an intricate design. I mean, uh, not a huge, uh, a widely intricate, but it's more uh, more uh, textural than let's say planks. But then you go into here and bang, we have <clears throat> planks with some logs. Um, I would actually still keep it like that. Um, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. I I uh, believe so. Other than that, um, I think you did a really, a really, really good job. I think this is really cool. Let's go down here once again. Oh, yeah, he fell because he was standing right here, <laughs> but I had to break it, and um, I didn't have to, but I did. So um, your uh, character is right here in a corner because um, he's been a bad, bad person. Just kidding. <laughs> so same thing with here. Um, this is kind of scary. I don't know what that's for, but <laughs> I actually didn't see that in the when I uh, looked at this. Um but uh, yeah, I really, uh, I really like this. this. is a cool lounging area. I like your design. What I would do is I wouldn't. Well, you know what? I lied. I like that. That looks good. Come in here, brewing area, really cool. It's kind of like that basement feel, which is uh, what the andesite blocks do well with. I like that. Um, even put some stuff up there to make it look halfway better. What is this? Ah, it's a head. Oh, it's Steve's head. Okay. And then we come in here. What is this? The bedroom. Uh, not bad. I really like that. I like the armor stand. I like the little tables. I like that a lot. Good job. Uh, come out here. And this is one of my actually favorite parts um, <clears throat> of your build. So one of the main problems a lot of people have with um, building in general is they have an issue with uh, making something too spacious. So what you did well here is you um, made this corner. So let's say you didn't have this. Okay. Let's take this out. There we go, almost done. And you have this big open area. Now, 
in a real house, unless if you live in a truly modern house, you're not really going to have that. Um, it's just going to be uh, very uh, compact like you had, which I truly enjoyed. Very good job on that. Um, but like I was saying with, let's see, did I, I lost my way. Let's see, how do we get out of here again? Where's the, <laughs> where's the exit? Where's the exit to this place, man? Where are you at? Let's see. No, is it this? Aha, yes. So, something that I really enjoy. Let's uh, let's toggle this stupid downfall. It keeps raining in this world, man. There we go. Well, something I feel a lot of people have problems with is um, when they make a big mansion style. This is more Victorian, but uh, it's big, so it's kind of like a mansion. Uh, when they make a mansion style Victorian house or just a mansion style house in general, um, they like to... Um, they, they like to just close this off, uh, this end off, uh, other ends off, and just leave it. And what you did well is you didn't have one of these e exits um, and over here, and then um, close this off so it's just an andesite wall, um, and you, left, you put some exits out, or not exits, but like uh, indents of the house out here, which looks very well, uh, very good very good it's well done rather uh, excuse my English but something that I really like is this design right here I'm sure you're gonna put it over here you know or this is a let's see I wonder if this is well I yeah maybe this is a stable for horses but I really like what you did here um, you did uh, you put your hay there and it just um, it spruces up the area a bit so let's review our tips so today we looked over uh, the color scheme of this house now this house from this angle right here Let's see. Um, it doesn't look too bad. However, I would change out the quartz. The quartz and the nether or er, and the nether brick have a very big contrast, which isn't one of my favorite things. Um, but you can make it work with that purple. That make that you know it almost make it makes it work um, better. The only issue I have is your deck at, uh, area. There's too many. There's three different types of wood. Uh, to me, uh, there's too much contrasting. This looks like um, um, a mix of uh, like ice cream. <laughs> um, like, uh, Netropolitan, I know, or is it Netropolitan? I don't know what it's called. Neapolitan, whatever, whatever that, uh, three, uh, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate ice cream is. It's actually my favorite. I don't even know what it's called. Um, <laughs> and, um, it, that's what this reminds me of, this, uh, contrast right here. So what I would suggest to do would be change this. Oh, no, you can keep this, actually. Uh, keep this. Uh, change this out for, you know, you could even do dark oak. But what I would suggest is change the whole thing uh, to um, the spruce. It, you don't have to have the most intricate thing with every different block. Other than that, um, I think you did a very good job. You did everything so every uh, room is interesting. Uh, just don't uh, try to overcompensate for something like the floor. You don't have to make the floor look uh, completely uh, amazing. It doesn't have to be the best thing in the house. So if you guys... Um if you guys want to check this guy's uh, complete build out, look through all the rooms, everything else... Um I would maybe take out these flowers. I apologize, I kind of got sidetracked, but I'd maybe take those out. Um, I don't know if they have a, a place there. It just it just takes my eye away from uh, from the uh, from the other colors. Let's do this. Let's see how this would look. Ugh. I know I know you like flowers because you know who doesn't like flowers. Oh, you could probably keep those actually. I lied, but um, keep these trap doors. Ah, keep breaking everything. Yeah, that's what I would do. And then maybe if you want to keep this quartz, which I would advise against, but if you want to, just do that. It it just makes it interesting. Uh, those flower uh, pots, or they're growing on grass, but that it just kind of it throws it off. It throws the whole balance of the house out uh, off. So if you guys enjoyed this vi uh, this episode, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. It really helps out a lot more than you guys actually know. Um, this is one of my favorite series to do, just because I like uh, getting your guys' comments and reviewing your houses so if you guys would like to check out this guy's house in full i will leave a description down below for you guys to check it out um you can do whatever you want to do then uh he actually has a world download which is how i got this house so i appreciate that and other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video go make sure to subscribe like comment all that good stuff if you guys um, are going to comment and ask me to critic uh, critique your house and make it feel or make um uh, help or ask me to make it better in any way or just uh, look at it. Uh, I would love to look at your guys' house designs. Gives me gives me some inspiration for my survival building world. Um, but other than that, if you guys did, uh, if you guys are going to comment, uh, make sure you leave a link to that um, 
uh, make sure you leave a link to that house uh, in the dis or in the comments, and then make sure I can world download that so I don't have to uh, build the whole thing by myself. It just saves me some time with my busy working schedule. So other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Jay Boogie, and just remember, boogie down.